We at Magna Powertrain are showcasing a family of uh, three different powertrain um, systems, I would call it. Uh, one, uh, we call them intelligent family of products. One is our intelligent force, one is our intelligent echo, and one is our intelligent reach. So these are different systems that uh, will help uh, future mobility either on battery electric vehicles, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, or electrified pickup trucks. The eBeam technology is part of our e uh, intelligent force, and it's a system where we try to help automakers electrify pickup trucks, but don't lose any of the characteristics that pickup truck people love and need, especially uh, payload and towing capabilities. So what we have here is uh, one of our mid-plus e-drives in the front, but in the back we have a beam axle that you can plug in into the pickup truck, use all the ancillary systems that your traditional truck would have, uh, but obviously it's a fully electric uh, traction motor. So I think it uh, is generating a lot of interest uh, with our D3 customers specifically. We will have a demonstrator vehicle on the road end of this year and are targeting a startup production in 2024. Part of our vision is mobility for everything and everyone. And we obviously have um, sustainability targets as well, right? So per definition, electrifying powertrains will help um, achieve those targets. But we go way beyond uh, mechanical products. For example, one of the products we show here is the Italian uh, Eco which uh, simulations show that we could achieve up to 38% uh, reduction in CO2 emissions. And how we do that aside of our products is that through connectivity, we can guide the driver to charge the vehicle on stations that use 100% renewable energy. Obviously, as a number one supplier in the world for transmissions, uh, but also for all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive systems, we believe we come from a position of strength in those areas, but obviously uh, we need to transition into electrifying those. Uh, I think part of our strategy is that we don't want to guess how fast uh, or how soon some of these changes will happen, and if the preferences will be on mild hybrids or PHEVs or BEVs. So we created a system of modular, scalable building blocks that prepare us to be ready uh, wherever the, and how fast uh, these things develop. So we basically are completely available and flexible to support our customers with components or full systems for all kinds of vehicles. What we thought may happen in 2030, now we think will already happen maybe in 26 or 25, so things are evolving very, very fast. I think at the end of the day you will be similar to energy production, I think you will see a mix of different technologies depending on legislation, geography, customer preference. So again, the flexibility will be absolutely key.